It appears the U.S. is stepping up its campaign of drone strikes in the northwest of Pakistan. Attacks over the past three days have killed more than 20 people, reportedly including the senior al-Qaeda commander Ilyas Kashmiri. As the U.S. trawls through the wealth of intelligence it says it gained after the killing of Osama bin Laden, it's also looking for the next most wanted terrorists. There's a new temporary leader of al-Qaeda, but the experts say he's not necessarily at the top of the list. North America correspondent Lisa Miller reports. These are just some of the faces of America's most wanted terrorists. The list is newly updated, Osama bin Laden now classified as deceased. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. Other faces, though, are now moving into prime position. The flag-waving and fist-pumping have passed, and the U.S. is focusing on who's next. Clearly, the United States has kill orders out on a lot of people because, uh, you know, President Obama has authorised four times more drone strikes in his two years in office than George W. Bush did in his eight years in office. Peter Bergen is one of few journalists to have met Osama bin Laden. The terrorism expert and author of The Longest War points to Ayman al-Zawahiri as the next most wanted. The 59-year-old Egyptian was bin Laden's number two and is expected to eventually take control. I've interviewed a lot of people who know bin Laden, even people who don't particularly like him, describe a pretty admirable guy on some levels, modest, retiring, intelligent.